Hello citizens of internet. I am Professor Ajit Virkud from Mumbai, India. Today I am going to discuss cesarean delivery for a baby in transverse lie. In modern obstetrics where obstetric skills like versions and extractions are dead or obsolete, the only option for delivery of a live baby in transverse lie in labor is cesarean. The budding obstetricians and postgraduate students should be taught firstly where to take the hysterotomy incision and secondly how to extract the baby through the hysterotomy incision. The decision depends on the size of the baby. For delivery of a good size fetus wedged into the inlet, Douglas and Strom advise vertical chronix incision on lower uterine segment which can be extended into the upper segment if necessary. Here I want to explain to you the reason why a vertical incision should be taken on the lower segment in transverse lie. The principle is the uterine incision should always be perpendicular to the long axis of the fetus. Therefore, in longitudinal lie, we take a transverse incision on the lower uterine segment. If this is the principle, then in transverse lie, it stands to reason that the incision should be vertical, that is, it should be perpendicular to the long axis of the fetus, which is in transverse lie. If the fetus is of moderate size and presenting part is floating, take a regular transverse lower segment incision. In modern obstetrics, most obstetricians take a horizontal incision on the lower uterine segment to deliver the fetus in transverse lie. This animation shows how to extract a baby in transverse lie during a cesarean delivery. After taking an adequate lower segment transverse incision or a vertical chronic incision, the surgeon inserts his whole hand towards the buttocks and first identifies the posterior leg which is furthest away from the incision. Palpate the heel of the foot to confirm that you are holding the foot and not a hand. Catch it and apply gentle traction towards the hysterotomy incision to extract the baby. Catching the posterior heel ensures that the back remains anterior during extraction. In dorsal superior position, easily catch one or both heels which will be just under the hysterotomy incision and either deliver one or both the legs keeping the back anterior and then the entire trunk. The head can be scooped out by rotating the trunk towards the mother's legs while applying traction, not shown here. And one more thing, after delivery of the fetus and placenta, always explore the uterine cavity to rule out congenital anomalies of the uterine cavity such as a septum.